Welcome to Bedrock Vocabulary. In this short video, we will focus on the teacher dashboard, showing you how to navigate the site and keep track of student progress by accessing a number of useful reports. Bedrock Vocabulary consists of two components, our student app and our teacher and parent dashboard. These two elements form the bedrock of, uh, bedrock. The app is where students access all of their learning. You can find more information about this on our student dashboard video. The teacher and parent dashboard is where you can access a range of reporting options so you can monitor usage and progress among all groups of learners, and your school can keep track of students' vocabulary learning. Log in to your teacher dashboard through the app, using your username and password which should have been provided to you. This will take you to your teacher dashboard. There are three levels of reporting on Bedrock, school level, class level and student level. Upon first logging in, you will come to the school dashboard. The main list on this dashboard shows all of the classes using Bedrock in your school. The classes that are assigned to you can be found under My Classes. For this video, we will give you an introduction to the class and student level reporting. If you want to take a more in-depth look at the reports available on Bedrock, including whole school reports, please watch the separate Bedrock reporting video. Click on one of your assigned classes to progress to the class level dashboard. The initial screen shows you the current students within this class. You can also see students' usernames here and reset their passwords if necessary. Drip feed is the waiting time between lessons. Research has shown that taking regular breaks allows information to be consolidated, leading to improved long-term retention. Because of this, the time is set to 24 hours by default. However, should you wish to change this, the option is there to do so. The grey bar gives you navigation options from the home page. Class reports brings you to the reporting screen. We will give you a brief introduction to a few of the most useful reports in this video. However, if you want a more detailed explanation of the reports available, please watch our reporting video. The first report we will show you is the activity report. Bedrock typically recommends that students complete two lessons per week. The activity report gives you an overview of who in your class has achieved this. Here, you can see a list of students in the class and the lessons they have completed in the given week. The Bedrock curriculum is split into learning blocks, which take approximately one academic year to complete. Each of these blocks contains a number of topics, and each topic contains lessons and quizzes. This report also shows the scores the students have achieved in the lessons they have taken, and their scores in the overall topic tests. The faces are a visual representation of each student's lesson completion in the given week. A green happy face represents a student completing the required two lessons per week. A yellow happy face represents a student completing one lesson. And a red unhappy face represents a student not completing any lessons. The pass mark for a lesson is 60%. If a student attempts a lesson but scores lower than 60%, you will see a yellow happy face to acknowledge the attempt. The activity report also allows you to change the reporting period so that you can see activity of your students in different weeks or over a different time period. More information about the student journey through the Bedrock curriculum can be found by watching the student dashboard video. To navigate back to the reporting dashboard, click here. One of our teacher's favourite reports is the Word Trends report. This report allows you to see which words your pupils need your support with. It shows you real-time information about the words in blocks pupils are currently learning. To view the words, click on the block you want to see. Words We Knew Before shows you which words 50% or more of your class answered correctly in the pretest, i.e. they knew them before. Words We Are Learning are words the majority of students answered incorrectly in the pretest and are now learning in their bedrock lessons. 
and words we have learned are words that the majority of students answered incorrectly in their pretest, but then answered correctly in the post-test. This report therefore shows you very clearly the progress of a word as your class moves through the bedrock curriculum. There are many more reports available on Bedrock. Please feel free to explore these reports to see what data Bedrock can provide. Alternatively, watch our video on reporting. The last heading in the grey bar is User Accounts. Here you can view the usernames and passwords for students in your class by clicking the Show Passwords and Access Codes button. This button also gives you the parent access codes for each student. Once a parent registers themselves on Bedrock, you can give them this student-specific access code so they can monitor their child's progress through the curriculum. You can download the information for the entire class here for easy distribution to parents and students. We have looked at how you view information on a class level, however Bedrock also gives you the ability to see this data on a student level. We will now look at how you do this. If we click through to class members, we can see that each student's name is written on the left hand side in orange. Any time you see a name in this colour, it means that you can click through to that student's dashboard. Let's start with Diamanti Ali. The student level dashboard is set out in exactly the same way as the other dashboards and here you can see some of the same reports that you saw at the class level. The difference being that clicking into these reports brings up information about this particular student, not the whole class. You can also see the student's personal knowledge organiser, giving you a great insight into the words they might need support with or words you can encourage them to use in their writing. You can also see a history of everything the student has done. Simply click on History and you will see when lessons were completed and what they scored in each lesson. You can manage a student's settings by clicking on the Settings tab. From here, you can add data like gender, ethnicity, SEND, EAL or pupil premium status, which all contributes to detailed tracking for your school. Helpfully, here you can also see their last login date, which can be a handy reference for any of those students swearing blind they logged in last night. This video has given just a simple overview of the functionality of Bedrock vocabulary, but there is much more to discover. We encourage you to have a play with the features and see what more Bedrock can offer. If you are a lead teacher, please watch the Bedrock settings video to find more information on making changes and adjusting settings on the site.